and welcome back to The Bright Side with me, Sophia. I hope you've been keeping well since last week and that you enjoyed the story. Before I get into today's Bright Friday story, I just want to say how important it is for us all to stay informed and updated on what's going on in the world. These videos are not intended to deter from that in any way. I'm just making them because I want to share people's bright stories to brighten your day, put a smile on your face, and help us all get through this difficult time. Now for today's Bright Friday story, we're gonna be hearing from a really remarkable man who is not only a full-time doctor working in trauma and orthopedics over in Liverpool, but he's also running 5K every day to raise money for a charity that specializes in mental health and suicide prevention. It's called Calm Zone. Now the fact that he is working full-time as a doctor and running 5K every day is remarkable in itself. But on top of that, he's actually going on these runs in nothing but a pair of Speedos. Yep. That's right, Speedos. <laughs> and that's where he gets the name from, Dr. Speedo. Points for originality there, I can't lie. Now I was very lucky to jump on a Zoom call with Dr. Speedo, or Howard, for those of you who know him personally. And he talked me through his journey, where it began, why he started it, and what, what's coming up for him as well, I guess. So let's have a listen to what Dr. Speedo had to say. I, I always like challenging myself, and um, I'm, a, I'm a big fitness fanatic. Um, so running 5K, a few times a week um, is the source of the norm for me. So I thought, why not do it every single day? To add to that, I also had a sumo suit that I've been lugging around with me for the last couple of years in the back of my car. So I thought I'd just throw the two together um, and it would bring a bit of joy to the people of Liverpool. And at the same time, the pandemic has been very difficult for a lot of people. And I think we've started to recognise the impact it's had on mental health. Um, and more people have been talking about mental health now and recognising the issues surrounding it and everybody has mental health, be it good or bad. Uh, so it's always good to talk about it and be aiming for a good positive mentality. Calm, which will also work with, um, for suicide prevention as well, really resonated me, with me, um, given seeing a lot of this through, through my work in the trauma environment as well. So what was the response? So yeah, it was just supposed to be a January thing, um, only 31 5Ks. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it gained a lot of traction after I ran. I, I set myself a target of five hundred pounds as a donation goal, and I soon went over that in about two weeks um, with the incentive of me running in a pair of speedos once once I got to that goal. And it gained a lot of traction with with media, and um, I had had a feature on the B BBC Breakfast News, which is where it really took off. And I crazily promised to run in my speedos for extra hundred pounds over five hundred. And I'm sitting at about £10,000 now and a couple more months of speedos to come. What about sort of just in the future? Do you think you'll be doing any more charity runs like this? There's been a few rumours of um, a, a sprint race or a, a race with Speedo Mick, um, the Liverpool oh, legend yeah. that, that wears blue speedos. Oh, yeah. um, I have been contacted by a couple of other people as well about other challenges that we might collaborate for. Oh, amazing. Well, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for that. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you for having me. So you heard it here first, these 5k runs are not the last that we'll be seeing of Dr. Speedo, which is fantastic news. I absolutely love reading about people who start these challenges with, I guess, realistic or reasonable goals that end up just getting completely multiplied and just go above and beyond what they kind of set themselves as a target. I think it's really amazing to see that. We saw it in the first Bright Friday story with our guest Matt Clarkson, who was a sulfur student running 75K throughout the month of February to raise money for Diabetes UK. He ended up doubling the, his initial target goal. It's really great to see that this happens more often than we might think. And Howard managed to do the exact same thing and all raising money for a really important cause too. Like he said, mental health is something that we all have. I really like the way he put it. Um, we all have mental health, whether it be good or bad mental health and I think these times have challenged some maybe more than others but all of us have have been impacted in some way or another maybe mentally maybe physically maybe emotionally in whatever area that might be and so now more than ever we really need to raise awareness on these issues we say that very often but it needs to be said it's really nice to see people like how we're challenging themselves to raise money for causes that are so important and vital to everyone collectively but as you can imagine balancing his full-time job at the hospital with 5k runs every day with his own mental health and well-being and i guess social aspects of his life it's got to be challenging and I wanted to see a little glimpse into, I guess, a day in the life of Howard, what he gets up to and how he manages to find that balance. I asked Howard to do a little video diary for me to kind of show us what it's like to 
step in his shoes for a day or step in his speedos, shall we say. Have a little watch. Just finished a 13 hour shift in the hospital. And I'm a little bit worried that it's cold outside. I haven't seen the outside since I came in this morning at half seven in the morning. But yeah, let's get out there and get running. Heading back to the car. It's been a busy day, but very rewarding helping all the people in the hospital needing my help. Time to get back home, don a pair of speedos and get out for a 5K run. So I've just jumped in the lift and I'm heading downstairs, ready for a chilly 5K around town. Woo! Halfway through the run, another two and a half kilometers to go. I'm just enjoying Hope Street at the moment. I absolutely love this street. Look at this, iconic. The Liverpool Philharmonic. I cannot wait to go there when it opens back up. Just turned half past 10 in the evening, obviously, after a 13 hour shift. And I've gone out and smashed another 5K for you guys. Keep it up, stay positive, stay safe, share a smile. Honestly, just watching that video made me cold, but I do really try and get involved in the videos that I, that I do and of interviewees that I talk to as much as possible, where it's possible. So I thought I would try doing a little 5k run in a pair of speedos of my own. Take a look. So I'm just kidding. Um, of course I didn't do that. First of all, I think I'd probably get arrested. Second of all, I can't brave the cold, but I am showing my support through a donation. So I hope that that's doing my part. You can also donate to the cause. I will leave his Just Giving page in the caption if you are interested in supporting him. Instagram page as well, I'll tag him, so have a look at that. He's got tons of shots of him in Speedos. Um, some of you might be into that. <laughs> I should probably not include that, but I think it's fun. And that's all for today's Bright Friday story. Thank you so much to Howard or Dr. Speedo for contributing. Best of luck with the rest of your runs. It's definitely not something that everybody can do, so you should be, and I'm sure you are, very, very proud. And of course, thank you to all of you for watching this video and continuing to support The Bright Side and share people's positive stories. I really appreciate that as well. As always, if you have a story of your own, or maybe you know somebody that does, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can email me at thebrightsideuk21 at gmail.com or message me on any of my socials, which I will leave in the caption. God, sounds like a broken record, doesn't it? But always have to put that shout out. Who knows, this could be the first one you've stumbled across and I don't ever want to miss an opportunity to hear your story, so you know what to do. I hope to see you next week for another Bright Friday story, but until then, stay safe and have a bright day. Bye!